I have been massively affected by my diagnosis. Going through menopause at 22 is the most bizarre thing in the world. But I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm Katie, I'm 22 and I have endometriosis. Endometriosis is a gynecological condition that affects one in 10 women in the UK. Cells that are usually found inside the uterus are found elsewhere in the body. Every time you ovulate, cells drain away in the same way that a period would, but the blood has nowhere to go. So it forms these horrible cysts and sticky clots and create a real painful, uncomfortable sort of mess inside you. I've always had painful periods from the age of about 16. They started to get extremely bad to the point where I would have to take three or four days out of school. From these monthly bouts for years, which I kind of just chalked off to what everyone else said, being a woman, go home and have a hot water bottle and take a stronger painkiller. But also I know my body and I know that this is not something that I could possibly be faking. I was vomiting maybe six or seven times a day. I can't walk out the door without feeling dizzy. So I just kind of collapsed. I had stage four endometriosis, an enlarged fallopian tube which had expanded to the same size as my womb and my bowel and my uterus were fused together. Going through menopause at 22 is the most bizarre thing in the world. It's a really jarring concept to say, I'm gonna put your ovaries on and pause. Aha, uh -huh, but will they come back on? Can you, can you guarantee that? And yeah, they say they can. But I'm really grateful to be on the menopause. I know my body's getting a break. I'll take a hot flush over agonizing cramps any day of the week. It seems to me that once you have one symptom, you realize that every pain you've ever felt have relevance that you never understood before. Horrendous menstrual cramps, chronic pain and fatigue, vomiting, fainting, pain during sex, anxiety, depression, all symptomatic. The condition can be incredibly isolating. Goodbye to the things that make you feel human. I wasn't able to go out of the house. I wasn't able to meet friends for a coffee. I certainly wasn't able to do the extra kind of curricular stuff that I enjoy, like singing, standing up and doing an, you know, an intense warm up to sing a song it was really too much for me for a long time. whether it's something we're programmed to do as women or whether it's something that society has ingrained in us that we just don't talk about it. Until we can acknowledge in our own minds that something's up and that we have a right to speak about it, we're not going to talk about it, you don't get a badge of honour for suffering. Is if one GP says to you, no, you're being a hypochondriac, then just go somewhere else. If they are not prepared to listen to you, somebody will be. What it is, is just the idea that we need to end the silence surrounding endometriosis. An Instagram account isn't going to change the world, but what it will do is give people in Scotland who are going through these symptoms content that actually makes sense to them. But as women, we've got to come together at the most basic thing, which is that we have the, you know, the same sort of experience. So we should all be able to talk about it.